Okay, last time we loaded an image into our application here. Let's have a look what it looks like. There it is. And uh, we're gonna load it in, I'm gonna show you a different way to load the image into the image uh, object. Um, and this will give you more uh, abilities to manipulate the image a little bit. So let's go into our editor and we're going to go down to where we have loaded our image. So we have a image object we created, it's a GTK image, and we're setting it from a file and that's the file name. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna create another object self dot we'll call it picks that's the object we're creating you can name it whatever you want within reason and we're going to say that it is a gtk dot gdk dot picks buff new from file and in there we're going to throw the image that we want so we have a new object a picks buff object and it's containing this this image so now we have our image object that we created. And instead of loading from file or set from file, we're going to set from picks buff. And instead of putting the image in there, we're going to put our picks image. So self.picks. So now we can go in here and we can run our program again still looks the same doesn't look like it's changed but it is working different now and I'll show you why we can change this so instead of uh, picks buff from file we can say picks buff from file at size and then after our image name here we can say comma and we can put in a size we'll say 100 by 100 now when we run the program you can see the image is a lot smaller. Now that comes becomes important when you're loading certain images. See, I had already scaled that image down to fit into the program inside a image editing program, but most of the other pictures in my Pix folder uh, are three to five megapixels. So they're they're larger than my screen when shown at full size, and they will just completely take over the application. So now you don't have to worry about that because we now are resizing the image when it loads. So um, let me give you an example here. We'll go back down in here and we'll change this back to what it was. We'll get rid of the size there and we'll just load an image. But instead of loading image 151, we'll load one image 153, which is a very large image. When I run that, boom, you can see it has taken over the application. Even when I go full screen, the image is bigger than my screen. Let's close that. Let's go back in here and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you another way to resize the image. So that's sizing the image at the time of load. Let's resize it after the image is loaded. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, well, let's just delete our image information here and type it out. I'll say we're going to create our self image object but instead of just saying uh, GTK image we're going to say that it is a uh, I'm sorry I'm having a brain cramp here GTK dot image new from pixbuff self.pix. So basically, before we had two lines, we were creating the image object, and then we were doing another uh, where we were loading it from pixbuff. Here, we are doing it all in one line. We're creating the object, we're saying it's this type of object, and we're loading the pixbuff. So at this point, we can run the application, and it should, uh, look just as it did before with a really large image but now that we're, since we're doing it that it saves us a line of code and we can also find where I was working at here we go add another line in here we're gonna call it self dot picks equals self dot picks dot scale simple 
and we'll give it a size. We'll make it 500 by 500. And the way we're going to resize is a GTK dot GDK dot interp by linear. So let's explain this. We are creating a PixBuff object. We are setting it to, we're, we're, we're creating the object. It is a PixBuff object, new from file. This is the file. Now we're replacing the PixBuff object with itself after it's been resized. So instead of creating a whole new object, we're just going over the old one. And then we're taking our image, we're creating an image object, and we're loading the PixBuff file so it's been loaded and then after it's been loaded we're resizing it and you'll see later on in tutorials where we use that to um, to resize files using buttons and other tools so let's have a look at this we'll save it we'll run it and there we go we've got it's kind of squished because I did 500 by 500 where normally it would be like 640 by 480 or whatever it's different aspect here and stays that size even when we resize the window here. So, one more time, let's go back in here. And instead of 500 by 500, just for fun, let's go 500 by 100. And we're gonna get a very distorted picture here. There we go, it's very squished. I'll go back in here one more time, just to end our program looking nice. We're going to say 640 by 480 let's run it boom there we go we've got our image looking good all our other stuff is still working here and that's a look at resizing images part one we're gonna get more into resizing images in future tutorials hope you're enjoying uh, these tutorials and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this and also visit our forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.